shooting 60% for the floor. Hartenstein from deep. Brunson catches, finds Hartenstein, flips it up and in. Shooting motion is whether or not you get free throws. 101.95, Knicks in front. Brunson leaves, Hartenstein floats. And Incredible winner. One of three players with 25 points a game and shooting over 40% from deep in the NBA. Here's Hartenstein. Nobody wanted to pass, so he said... Hartenstein is a strong dude, yeah. Mark. He's not small. And he's short. Here comes Randall. Randall averaging a nine rebound. Previously the three ball in the right corner. And an OB along the baseline. Hartenstein, he's... Oh. By the time they get it going, there's 12 on the shot clock. DiVincenzo hesitation finds Hartenstein. Can't keep this guy out of the paint. Jake and Bake lost it, gets it back. He wants it again. Miller all over him. Brunson drives, gets inside. Hartenstein a floater. It's good. Dangerous pass, cross court passes. Josh Hart inside. Hartenstein. Flutter straight on. Uh uh. Short. Hartenstein back up. Counted. So I used to do pre game, halftime, post game show. Hartenstein is guarded by Roddy. Nice speed inside. Hartenstein, though. Didn't get a shot off. Now he does. And back. Doncic pick and roll. Mavericks up 10 once again. Here's Hartenstein. Little push. It through the final 22 games of the regular season. But no Donovan Mitchell tonight for the fourth time in. So play a pick and roll. Drives baseline. Little hezzy. Inside. Hartenstein. Hartenstein jump over as a scorer and a facilitator is something to be studied. Hartenstein going this thing down right now. The pace favors the Kings. Next work it back out. Ananobi for Hartenstein over Sabal to the paint. He's great at drawing fouls, and now he's developed that little bit range. But a few weeks ago, they were just they weren't calling it as tight, and it's. I think the fans like the physicality too. Well, a lot of the games that the Knicks have played and the scores have been so low, they've been winning those games as hard to pace, changing hands in midair sometimes. Nice pass deep. Quarter on Brunson, driving baseline. Here's Hart and Stop being sped up, but that time Murray was not sped up either. Shot clock out to five. All star break. They don't give up many opportunities to get second chance looks. Here. Well, the Nuggets by 10. Here's Steven Chenzo for Hartenstein. Hartenstein banks it. it. Creeping down on his former college teammate. Bounces to Hartenstein. It's the Knicks were looking for a ball 10 again. As you can imagine, they trailed 29 to 10 after one. They had nine turnovers and were 0 for 10 from three. Again, all banged up as Hartenstein's first shot of the night is on um, Thursday night. Isaiah Hartenstein right there with consecutive games of scoring and assists. The steal functions are huge. Hartenstein is in and on the doorstep. 27 points on 10 of 33. Who's going to step up to provide secondary scoring for Jalen Brunson here in the second half? Meanwhile, the Bucks lose Chris Middleton. Remember, he got hit. It's mouth trauma. He will not return. Hartenstein, nice floater. He next for the tenth time in the last eleven meetings between the two. Brunson to Hartenstein. Now the floater's up and good. Nice. By the way, we talk about Earl Monroe's sacrifice. Dick Barnett sacrificed his yep. individual game as well. Nice feet inside. Hartenstein. Jalen Brunson, 94 feet. Josh Hart helped him take some of that responsibility off. Nice slip pass. Hartenstein throws it up. Brunson, the Hartenstein, his floater's up, shot is good. Andre thought he was too because he's the one that got the steal. Yeah. And he was running with him. He looked back, you know, and I think he saw him. And he gave Golden State a lot of credit for helping him get back. And they gave him a timetable, they gave him a game plan to get back. He played a couple games here and there late in the season. He's trying to get out on Ananobi. Off the Hartenstein, he's hit a couple of... Celtics don't turn it over much. Least in the league. They only average 11.9 turnovers per game. Best mark going in the NBA. They do. Just got eight in the quarter. He's knocked down a couple of threes. 11 overall. Four to shoot. McBride gives it to Hartenstein. Going to have to go third quarter. 
Game two, mix up 1-0 in the series. Hartenstein gets it deep. Oh! Another two to go, trying to get Oubre on the floor. Is Nick Nurse. Hartenstein again. Nick's had a mismatch on the deep. Missed him though, and that's Hartenstein in regulation. Another one that's going to come right down to the end. Oh! Hartenstein keeps it going. How he started. He's setting the tone with his physicality. He's the biggest bully on the block. He's got to play like it tonight. Best in our league. There's Dante DiVincenzo playing about hey, this a two-point game. Yeah, and he's just a really good basketball player. We were saying as we went to break, uh, it was also a pretty good start for the Knicks because, you know, they break points in that first quarter, which is what's allowed them to have the lead. Batum taking his turn against terrific footwork and then a great late double to force the turnover on that last Sixers possession by the Knicks. Brunson trying to turn a corner for a beautiful bounce. Heat on the bench. Here's Brunson. Pocket pass. Hardenstein able to float it in. Ours on the bench in this game. A big theme for the series, especially when it comes to Embiid. Let's send things over to Cassidy Hubbard. Yeah, Ryan, I had a chance to catch up with Nick Nurse, and I asked him how they handled the not foul trouble in game five in the first half. DiVincenzo, star Villanova, gives it up. 71-64 Philadelphia. Brunson, probing. Give it up. Again, it's Hardish. And Udre touched it. Brunson got the screen. Hartenstein, third quarter, all of them assisted. And it'll be against Siakam. Here's Hartenstein. And he got hard driving, hard Euro. Hartenstein. That's his coaching game one. Oh, he's hurt. hurt. It looks like he's hurt. Brunson got hurt. Bump knees. So knee to knee. Going. I think he took one to the mid area of the mid section. <laughs> trying to be diplomatic. Way they're at their best. Their ball and player movement is probably the best in the NBA. McBride finds hard to stop. Now, Brunson set the check back in. Hart finds Hartenstein, flips it up, and... Josh Hart gives it up. Hartenstein, that little push to Hart. Hartenstein, his floaters up, shots good. He gets knocked.